My name is Lily Desi, I am an undergraduate studying marketing, advertising and PR at university. Or should I say, was an undergraduate. I have now officially graduated from uni, or will have by the time this goes up. And that's scary. Finishing third year has released a lot of stress off my shoulders. Juggling dissertation with other deadlines, man, I could barely do anything else with my life. And now that that's done, I can finally start to relax. So let's rewind it a bit and see how this first started with first year. They don't understand the way that I First year was basically the start of me becoming me, you know, very deep. It allowed me to, you know, actually be independent and live on my own and learn ways of actual life. And I loved every minute of it. Initially, if you look back on my old vlogs, I was quite shy and introverted, but, but luckily for me, living with a flat of lads, uh, that quickly changed up, thank God. I was reminiscing on the good days with one of my course mates a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about the first week of university, how we had met that week, and they said how I was quite shy during that task and kept to myself, and looking back, 100% true, I was. It's hilarious to think how I was then. Also, I hate the fact that my first video is my most viewed video. It's disgusting. It's my worst video I've ever made. Not to say these are any great, but 2,000 views on a video that I barely knew anything I was doing, and I recorded the entire week in secret because I hadn't actually told anybody at that point. So the fact that that's my most viewed is heartbreaking. <laughs> In my face, and then we have like my course mates who I've spent the past three years with. You know, I can't fault them too much. No, but in all honest, we're all really good friends. And that's what university is quite tricky with. The fact that you don't know anybody on the course when you first start. But thankfully enough for me, we've had a good time. It has been really good. The people I sat next to on my first induction lecture were the same people I hung out with three years later. We're all very good friends. They're all really cool people. And then we have my workload this year, which has been incredibly different from first year. If first year scale was like on this line, third year would be like up here, if not all the way. Yep, the, the line just continues. I haven't woke up at 12 p.m. in months. This year actually, I haven't woke up at 12 this year. But now I wake up at like 10, half 10 every day. Younger Sunny would be like, why the hell are you waking up that early? But now that I'm older, 21, I've realized that, you know, I have to plan things through. If we're going to reminisce further, let's talk about sleep because I was known to nap at university. This was a prominent occurrence, so much so that my course mates actually decided to make an Instagram page about it and post pictures of me sleeping three years straight without me knowing. Here's a clip of them uh, really good to me. And um, I've learned a lot throughout our friendship. And the main thing is that you sleep a lot. I've documented some of those uh, times. If you like to pass these around, I'll was first year study in my old flat, and this was second year at Tara's flat. This was before the managing of the brand presentation. Wow. This was probably two, three months ago. Oh my God. And this is second oh year. That's the first year. <laughs> Myself and Jack created an account on Instagram called Sunny Sleeping. It's been doing now, well. as you can see, the first post was made in 2015. <laughs> Mentioned you sleeping <laughs> throughout the years. And this is an account that everyone follows except you. <laughs> so, <laughs> <of> course, <laughs> It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You've even edited them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so organised. It's an experience. You remember university for life. Yeah, you got those stuff when you took the sleep. What's the point of sleep? It got to the point where you had to make an account for it. Oh my you days. improved this year, unfortunately. That's true. I, uh, coffee. I don't understand, stand, stand. I've lived with my flatmates for three years and I can't lie, I've been very lucky with the kind of flat that I have. Thankfully when we moved in we all got along pretty nicely and I still live with most of them through third year. That's the one main thing with university, you never know exactly who you're going to live with. Certainly I didn't. I first found out who I was living with when I was moving in. I applied for accommodation kinda late. There were a few nights out, weren't there? Just, just a few. Yeah, I went out quite a lot, didn't I? My excuse was always the fact that it's university. I need to make the most of this being my student life and in three years time it would be over. And now it's been three years and it's over. I'm glad I went out a bit. I tweeted a while ago that once you finish university, the amount of alcohol that you consume is then frowned upon. Which is, you know, it's kind of sad to be fair. Yes, I made the most of the freedom at university. My most excessive year of going out was second year. At least once a week, non-stop. 
I think for the first time it was twice a week. Whew, a lot of alcohol, a lot. Jeez. Surprisingly, I started university single and I'm leaving university in a stable relationship. With coffee, but same thing. Not to say I haven't dated, you know? Of course I have. Look at me. <laughs> I have been on dates, it's crazy. Not to brag, but other humans have liked me. Crazy how the world works. There are always good ways to get a girlfriend. Uh, for example, for Valentine's, you can always do this. What I learned previously in the year. Is that how I get Valentine's? Just go on the street. Yeah. You know, little tips like that always work, 100% of the time. I see fire. Time to leave. A lot of alcohol just left around. I gotta clear that up. I'm about to leave the flat. If you can hear an echo, it's because there's nothing here anymore. It's all gone. That's it. My time at IQ and my time at university is officially up. I am no more living in a student accommodation because I'm no longer a student. Time to head into reality, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, have a good day. I'll try, I'll try. Good so I graduate within four hours and that's scary because then it just means I'm officially not a student anymore. It's the thing you actually spend three years aiming towards. So yes, after I graduate, that's it. I am a fish part of society. I have graduation and between that and going out tonight, I have no idea what I'm doing. Some of my friends are going to be with their family because their family had to travel over. I won't be here, my flatmates will be here. It's a bit all over the place. Kind of sums up my entirety of the three years to be fair. I am in the church in a bar 53 Sundays, a nigga. You know how the church go. This that church is chicken with you with the church flow. Oh, Gotta crawl while you walk, bro. Yeah. Running wild in the city with my Sonny Desi. Monica Dimitrova. And that's it. I am now a graduate. Get locked off when I'm up front. I don't try to approach me. Hazard and smoky. Don't be dumb. I, I still send emoji. More time trophy to gorgeous ones. But I'm baby with the realest ones. Whenever someone had asked me why I do the uni vlog, my answer was always the fact that I could just watch myself at university any point in the week in like 10 years time. Something other people just don't do and haven't thought of just for the sake of I want to remember as much about university as I possibly can. And that was always my answer. However, I never actually thought of one day I will be finishing university. I now just have this massive archive of videos that I can look at whenever I want which was for me the whole aim of why I chose to do the vlog it was just for the fact of it was just a selfish thing that I wanted to do I wanted to record my experience so that I could show other people if they wanted to see it but more so it was just for me I still remember the build up of anxiety that first upload because I hadn't told anyone about it the entire week I was secretly recording them which um, there's probably some legal issues around that I just wanted to see my progression with both education and one Self. I've also realized throughout this vlog my hair just got shorter and shorter. Um, nothing much I can do about this now. <laughs> this is the final uni vlog. I've enjoyed making the videos. I've been making videos since I was 11. You can only see these ones on the internet though. All the others are well hidden, very well hidden. This channel's future, I have ideas, I do. Most of them involve money. So I guess I will see you when I see you. And until next time, peace. I, I see everyone run off that food, get locked off when I'm up front.